Good afternoon ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for clicking that button and joining me for today's video. Hope you're all having a fantastic week so far. Now before we jump into today's video guys, I would just like to speak to you quickly about something that I think affects the majority of gentlemen at some point in their life, and that is male pattern baldness. In the past couple of years, I myself have had to come to terms with the fact that my hairline is now receding faster than the British Isle coastline, and I can now grow more down here than I can up there. So I've made the decision to take drastic action and from now on guys, the show will be called Bald Crafty Stee. And with that guys, today's video sponsor is no one, I'm just bald. Own it guys, own it. Now ladies and gents, on to today's video and it's a popular one. It's a subject I've seen around in the forums and on YouTube itself. And it is an age old debate now of which is better and the sort of pick up the Boreal 21 Agawa Canyon or the Silky Big Boy 2000 Outback Edition. Today we're going to find out. So we'll start with the Boreal 21 Folding Ball Saw from Agawa Canyon first. Um, I'll put all dimensions and specs up on the screen but I can tell you this weighs in at 544 grams. It is aluminium construction throughout with a plastic handle. The saw's main selling feature is the compact form factor when folded down and the ease of assembly, which should be just line with two. And that is the saw assembled and ready for action. Bit of a disclaimer before we start this test, um, the saw does usually come with a all-rounder saw blade for green and dry wood. Um, I have since replaced my saw blade for a finer tube, so this is probably more suited for dry wood, but it should still give us some good results today. And secondly, we have the Big Boy 2000 Outback Edition from Silky. Um, this one comes in at 478 grams, so not too far behind the Boreal 21. It is constructed from steel. It has a two-stage locking blade. But its main selling feature are the mental teeth on that saw blade. We do also have an Arbor Composite grip, um, which proves to be reliable in all weather conditions. Right guys, we have a fallen willow here. Went down last year sometime. Um, and I am going to start bucking it up, processing it ready for firewood, stored firewood. So we're going to go with the Boreal 21 first. Uh, again, um, in terms of newness, both blades have had very little use. So we should get good results on this. I've got the timer here and we're going to start the cut. That's a time of 15 seconds. And now time for the big boy to perform. And that's a time of 10 seconds. So five seconds quicker than the Boreal 21. But again, the saw blade on the Boreal 21 ball saw um, is a finer tooth than the one you would get on it when you buy the saw uh, for the first time. But still performed well there. Right guys, one last test before we wrap this video up and come to our conclusions. So what we have here is a downed alder, a very well seasoned downed alder. This has a diameter of around 12 to 13 inch. So straight away, that's one of the folding ball saws caveats. You will be sawing nothing more than six inch in diameter with this saw. Anything else, it simply will not go through because of the top cage. So what we're going to do is set a timer for 30 seconds for each saw, just to see how far them teeth on them saw blades penetrate into the wood in that time. And we'll go with the Boreal 21 uh, ball saw first. So let's crack on. And that is 30 seconds. And now we're going to swap over to the big boy outback. 
this will cut through this as long as you've got enough steam and it's got a good draw length on that blade as well so And that was just under 30 seconds when I had to stop the cut because the tree was pinching the blade. So clearly the pardon me <laughs> the uh, silky saw penetrated much further into the wood. So pros and cons of each saw and we'll start with the Boreal 21 first. So a major plus for this saw is it's small form factor when folded up. This is easily stored away and light enough to take hiking. This will fit anywhere in your bag and take up minimal space. Another plus, the saw blades themselves are replaceable. Any 21 inch bow saw blade will fit this saw no problem. And you can pick these blades up for less than three pounds here in the UK. Um, and the variety of saw blade is numerous. So it also has that going for it too. Price, another big plus. I found this for as cheap as £78 in the UK, so $125 in the US. You can pick yourself one of these saws up. The handle of the saw is very comfortable to use and very ergonomic, and over the 10 plus years of owning this saw, I have never felt fatigued in the hand when using this for long durations. The cons. The biggest con of the saw is you're limited to the diameter of timber you can cut with this saw. Anywhere up to six inch is fine. Anything more, you're gonna get stuck with a cage. Um, another con, which isn't really a massive issue, but it is an issue, or it could be an issue for some. Um, the blade replacement, when it comes to taking the circlips off, it's a bit fiddly. And if you're not careful, these can flick off and you can lose these in the field if you are changing your blade in the field. I'm not sure if I mentioned, but spare blades can be placed inside the frame when the frame is closed. So you've got a spare blade there as well. Fantastic saw. Now guys, on to the big boy. And I will say the biggest plus this saw can offer you is its sheer performance when it comes to tackling any timber, green or seasoned. The teeth on this saw blade will make short work of anything you throw at it. Another plus, we have the two locking positions on the saw blade. A little mini plus I found, the locking notches on top of the blade can be used for lifting pots on and off the fire. It's proven very comfortable to use in the field and it packs down as small if not smaller than the Boreal 21. A couple of cons with this saw, and we'll start off with the saw blade. Um, the saw blade is replaceable, as is with any silky saw, but the blade replacement price of the saw is 50 pounds per blade, which is very, very expensive. Um, these blades have been known to snap if you don't know what you're doing and you don't know how to use the saw correctly. Um, I will say again, this is a pull saw, and it works on the pull, not the push stroke. So as long as you remember that and you don't put any force on that uh, front stroke you'll be fine. I've not snapped a blade yet on this or the uh, silky gone by I've got as well. Price of this saw could be a con for a lot of people as well. The cheapest I found this in the UK I think is £110 so $130 to $140 um, and this can go up to £150 to £160 I've seen as well. So it is an expensive piece of gear um, bear that in mind but well worth it too if you can find it on the lower end of that price scale. Um, I've really enjoyed using this saw and it just makes me smile every time I take this out of my pack. <laughs> One more con um, with the saw blade, silkies are known to open when they're in the pack so I would suggest you maybe put a ranger band across there or a velcro strap or something just to keep that saw blade in the saw body and that will prevent any accidental uh, severing of fingers. And that's your lot guys, I'd like to thank you again for joining me for this video, it's been a pleasure as always. Um, I'll just say that I think you'll be happy with whichever saw you pick. Um, the pros and cons are minimal between both. I would say the big boy requires a little less effort to use than the Boreal 21, but they're both effective in the field, so the choice be yours. 
Until the next one guys, you stay safe and as always, stay crafty. See you again, bye bye. So we'll start with the Boreal 21 folding bowl saw from Agua Canyon. I'll put all dimensions up on the screen but I can tell you this weighs in at 544 grams. Um, it is all aluminium very ergonomic and over the years I've owned this saw I've never felt The handle of the saw is very comfortable to use and the handle of the saw is very comfortable to use and the handle of the saw is very comfortable to use and the nine or ten years plus Come on! The handle of the saw is very comfortable to use and very ergonomic.